Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card we're making today. Now, this is a Friday focus video, and the focus of the month of May has been on colour. So, we've looked at primary colours, we've looked at complementary colours, and now we're just looking at using a single colour to spotlight a card. And this is what I've done here. It's just one colour I've used is red, and then of course black and white, but they're not actual colours. And you can see how effective it is just to spotlight the poppies so let's get on and make the card so spotlighting is a technique I learned a long time ago and it just allows you to make highlight a certain area of the card and it really makes that area pop and as we're just using the one colour here it really does look quite nice. So I'm just going to stamp with this poppy stamp and I'll show you it's from Painted Poppies and this it's this one here from Painted Poppies and I started off in the centre so it doesn't look too much the same Go to that side and then we'll go to the other side. Just inking up here with memento ink because we are going to use the stamp and blend alcohol markers to colour everything in. Okay, and there we have our line of poppies. So let me just give the stamp a quick clean so that I can take it off this block because I need the block and then I'm going to use from peaceful moments I'm so glad the stamp has carried over again I'm going to use the thank you so let's say thank you and I'm just going to try and line it on my block as straight as I can and then I'm going to bring in my card base here and this card base is basic white, a thick basic white, standard A6 card base. And I'm going to stamp straight onto my card base, which is something I really do because I'm always scared of mucking up. But here goes. Okay, not too bad. So we can set that aside, set all of that aside, bring this in. And I'm just going to do some quick colouring with real red of all my poppies. So I'll put you on fast forward and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I've coloured this in, so now I'm just going to chop down this panel a little bit. And let's see, just going to chop it down like that. And I think I'm going to leave it the same distance. Let's see what I want to do. What did I do last time? I did leave it the same distance. So, And then we're just going to chop a little bit off here. So let's see. Just like that, and then we've got our panel. So set that aside, and I've got here a piece of basic black, and we're just going to mount this. So this piece needs to measure the full width of our card. So that's 15.85 centimeters. So let me just cut this down now. So somewhere like that. And then I measured that this was six centimeters, so this is going to be six and a half, just like that. Okay, so I've cut this black piece down to 15.85 centimeters by six and a half, and then I'm just going to mount this using my seal. I keep on wanting to say snail, but it's seal now. Okay, 
I'm just gonna plunk this in the center here and then bring back our color base which is here and then we're just gonna put this onto our color base somewhere near the top like that you can see how the red just highlights those tulips really emphasize tulip poppies it really emphasizes them and then I've got here some red rhinestones let's use these up so I'm just going to put a few here that's the end of those then and there are two cards so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know and please don't forget to subscribe to future videos if you want more information about this project the supply list the measurements etc it's all on the blog post on my website and the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye